All right, welcome back to the African History Network show. We have Dr. Wilson uh, back, so we're going to go back to Dr. Wilson. Okay, sister, sorry about that. Technical difficulties here, <laughs> but we got you back, okay? So, <laughs> all right. Um, so you were going and you were talking about how the society is targeting African-American men, everything from the president to Trayvon Martin. Uh, so if you, if you could uh, kind of try to pick up from where you left off, if you, if you could. All right, well, I'm talking about racism, white supremacy as a system, and yes. saying that black people, we have to completely transform what we are thinking about. I mean, we have been deceptively told that we are in a system of democracy and mm -hmm. everybody, everybody is equal, but in reality we are in a system of racism, white supremacy that cannot permit for equality because that would uh, that would lead to white genetic annihilation. And so right. we are going to have to completely switch gears in our brain computers and understand that we are in a system of racism, white supremacy, and a system that is structured for white genetic survival on planet Earth. And because mm -hmm. whites are a tiny minority, they are genetic recessive. That means that the black male person is perceived as a threat to white genetic survival, which is why everybody from the president, Barack Obama, to 17-year-old Trayvon uh, Martin, or uh, you just had a 19-year-old killed. Uh, no, no, I don't. You sound fine on this end. Okay. No, I don't. Yeah. And do you if see, you or Emmett echo... Till, when he was 14 yes. years old, or all mm -hmm. the male yeah. children that uh, mm -hmm. have been, because they are in a state of depression, not having fathers in the home, not because black men are bad, but because the system of racism says, I'm not going to let you be men. I'm not going to let you have employment. I'm not going to mm -hmm. let you be in a posture where you can really, in reality, function as a husband and as a father. And so you're going to be frustrated because you don't understand the system and you're going to be out of the home. Your sons are going to be without male guidance and yes. male modeling, and they're going to be in a state of confusion. They're going to be hurt, depressed, angry, and upset until they are conducting mass murder, killing each other on the streets. Now, all of that hmm. is system-determined, and we have to understand, and we have to have counter-strategies, just like you would play chess. You see, people look at basketball all the time, they look at football all the time, and those teams are about... One team is opposing the other, and each team has its offense and defense because they understand what the game is about. Do you see, whether it's football, basketball, or tennis, you have to understand what the game is all about. You can't go on a football field with a tennis racket and right. expect to score. You have to exactly. understand what is the exact game that is being played. You can't sit down at game. a chessboard with the rules for checkers. Yes. You have yes. to understand exactly and specifically what is going on. And that's why black people, that's why we greet each other by saying, hey, what's happening? And that is repeated a million times a day. The brain computer, because we are walking around basically in a state of confusion. And anybody, I don't care whether it's a professor at Harvard in the law school, I don't care who it is, mm -hmm. any black person who is not focusing on the system of racism, white supremacy, as a system for white genetic survival is functioning in confusion. I don't wow. care how smart they are, I don't care what level of genius, and they are confusing themselves and confusing other black people. But the system mm -hmm. will not let you teach at Harvard, Yale, Columbia, and talk about racism, white supremacy, what white people are doing with their behavior. 
Do you see? Now we have to understand that if you are in a so-called recognized, responsible so-called position, you are not allowed to talk about the system of racism, white supremacy, or talk about what white people are doing. You can only talk about yourself. You can, you know, sing We Shall Overcome. Right. You can march every week. Yes. But you cannot talk about, but black people have to understand that. We're not supposed, this is why if you mention, if you're on television and you mention something about racism, the white people start screaming, you're playing the race card. We don't right. even know how to answer that. It's the whole deck is right. The whole deck is right. Exactly. We dealt a racist hand. Right. See, it's a, it's the whole deck. It's right. the whole deck is racism and white supremacy. So all the cards. You see, now you can be into denial, but black people have to understand, and this is why it's not a, you know, it's just like you can't sit down and play chess and hate your opponent. Yeah. That's a waste of energy. Mm -hmm. You have to master an understanding of the game and be able to play defense, offense, offense, defense relative to what the game is all about. And so it's imperative, imperative. We have to look at the disaster of black male-female relations and say it is a disaster because the system intends for it to be a disaster. If if black men and women had successful relationships, their children would be strong. Their yeah. female children would be strong. Their male children would be strong. But the system cannot function if there's strong men and women. You know, like you can have a handful of people who are functional, but you've got to have the masses of people in a state of confusion and dysfunction. And we have to, you know, be very calm and say, okay, fine, but this is unacceptable for us. We are the parent people on the planet. The creative force of the universe made black people the first people and the mothers and fathers of everybody on this planet. All we have I to say. do is have a mutation to albinism, and you produce a white person. You cross the black plus the white, you get all the colors in the human family. We're the only people on the planet that can do that. So we have to understand that and say, wait a minute, we have been taken into a total state of dysfunction. We have been taken to a point, because we didn't understand the system, where our young people and a lot of older people calling themselves niggers, gangsters, mm -hmm. thugs, dogs, bitches, and hoes, and niggas. Yes. Now, yes. see, when you can take a people to that point and they don't understand what is happening to them, that is the most, you know, that's, that's at the point at which you are brain dead. You're walking around, Correct. but you're brain dead because you mm -hmm. don't understand what it means. And the system will pay very well. The system will pay, you know, some black person wants to be an artist or musician and so, well, we're going to pay you a lot of money, but you have to have a whole lot of nasty, filthy comments and mm -hmm. lyrics that will brainwash and brain damage your population. Now, we'll call you a star, but we really think that you're a fool <laughs> because you don't what? understand. We are destroying you. It's just like, mm -hmm. you know, saying, well, okay, here, you can have these guns and you can have these drugs and uh, you can kill as many of your people and poison as many of your people, and we'll applaud that because you are helping us take you into a state of genocide. Now, we have to understand, I mean, the response to the fear of genetic annihilation is to produce genocide on the people that you feel can genetically annihilate you. Mm. And this is, this is what we're doing because Correct. we don't understand. You know, we have to embrace ourselves, respect ourselves, and say, wait a minute. We clearly, if something has been going on for 500 years, 